and welcome to another episode of the Audiophile Baristas weekly vlog number 65. Thank you for tuning in and for today let's start with some music and some coffee because I'm going to need some coffee for this one. Oh, and before I put on the music, over here I'm trying to design a logo. So next year, when I'm going to the uh, München Munich Audiophile Show, high-end audio show, I would like to have a t-shirt with my logo on it. So let me know what you think of it. And of course, if you are a designer and you want to do me a favor and make me a nice logo, I won't say no. But... I said, let's play some music. And this is something from the um, audio library, library from YouTube itself. This is the remote control you get with the sound artist amplifier and the plus is on the left side and the minus is on the right side. It took me some time to get used to that. Um, but anyways, this was, let me show you, it was called a New Orleans crawfish bowl, boil and this is from the audio library from um, YouTube itself and it took me a while to find something that I liked enough to have you listen to it um, not just put anything on and when I was going through this list I was thinking wow everything sounds a little bit flat a little bit dead until I realized that what you get from the audio library from uh, YouTube is only an mp3 mp3 in 128 kilobyte quality and as far as i'm concerned one of the indicators of listening to low or medium quality mp3s is that the sound becomes flat and lifeless anyways the reason i said well i need some coffee for today is because i have this channel i have this now for over a year and no matter how careful I am in what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to make in my videos, there will always be somebody finding one word or something to complain about. Now, um, so there's two things that I want to share with you today. One of the things is that there were some people, I said, this is a cheap 
amplifier and these loudspeakers are cheap and of course cheap is a relative term but these people went as far as to say I think this is cheap and that is why I am biased and that is why this review is never going to be something because I am not able to give this a fair review and that is because I call this cheap. Now maybe it is my use of the English and maybe I should have used another word but with cheap I mean this is a $250 amplifier and you get a DAC built into it and you get some 200 watts per channel on 4 ohms for $250. In this hobby that is cheap. So to give you an example over here I have a picture of a loudspeaker cable. This is a loudspeaker cable from Siltec. Siltec is a Dutch company, cable company it's been on the market for a very, very long time already. And years ago, maybe 15 years ago, my high-end audio dealer gave me, not this set, because this is much uh, 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 younger, but gave me a set of Siltec Pure Silver Interconnect and loudspeaker cables. And the fascinating thing when listening to that was that the amount of detail that I got from that system that I was using at the time was incredible. Another thing, a down thing, was that this was not a relaxed sound anymore. So it was not something that you would use as background music. You had to listen to it and it's gave you so much detail but also it was a little bit in your face but there were so many things i did not hear in cds before that so that company made this loudspeaker cable and why was i telling this because what is cheap this loudspeaker cable for a stereo set of two meters will cost you 50 or 60 thousand euros now i say 50 or 60 because i found it somewhere for 50 and i found it somewhere for 60. so that is a ten thousand uh, dollar discount which is crazy because that is more or less the amount of my ocedia loudspeaker when you want to buy it new now but the reason i'm uh, what, what my point is is for $250 you can buy either an amplifier with a built-in deck or you can buy two centimeters for $250 you can buy two centimeters of this loudspeaker cable this is not stereo but mono so just for one side two centimeters I think considering that it is fair to say that is cheap and this is hideously expensive whether you think it should be that expensive that's not my point but if you think it is not fair to say that that is cheap well i don't know what to say i just don't know what to say so that's one thing the other thing is i this week let me have some more coffee This week I did a video, let me change hands for the camera and let me change position, is this something, I did a video about these things and I was questioning is this pure copper and I did a little test with the uh, magnet that is in here. If you haven't seen that uh, video yet make sure you watch it. But then somebody said hold on hold on inside here there is a center pin and that could be a metal and that could be what was uh, triggering the magnet well one no probably not because where is my other over here this is the same this is the same as the nakamichi this is a hollow one i just took the jacket off but this is the same, this is a hollow one and it does the same. 
if you hold a magnet to it. So I already knew that couldn't be it, but in order to be sure, what I did, I destroyed one of these um, banana plugs, as you can see right over here, in order to check the different uh, parts separately. So what I did over here, this is the center pen, pin. It is bent now, of course, but this is the center pin that is right inside over here. And if you go with a magnet, as you can see, it will stick to it. And there's also this little piece. Let me put it there. That's one of these pieces, which are, of course, the ones that make the contact um, inside of the loudspeaker or the uh, amplifier. It's this little, these little springs. And as you expect, this with a magnet is also just jumping onto it. So I was of course very happy with people saying, oh, wait a minute, did you check everything? So I checked everything and these things are not made full copper. So the next thing was, somebody said, well, in order to um, combine copper and the outer layer, which is gold plating, they use, um, um, what was it, zinc sometimes. And that could be magnetic. Now that could be, and that could be the reason that this will stick there. But I'm guessing that is also a cheap way to make um, bananas because if we look at other companies who use a different procedure in order to connect the gold plating and the uh, copper I can't remember but this is not reacting to a magnet so there is a way and if you look at their uh, website in uh, the one the one that is just a little bit more expensive than this one they explain how they connect um, the copper and the gold plating without using uh, zinc. So it is possible to get a better solution. But I was also happy with that comet because it made me destroy a banana plug and it made me sure of the things that I'm saying were correct. So that is all that I wanted to give you for um, today. So let's get up. Let's have a last look at... Oh no, wait, there's more. I was already closing the vlog and I reminded I put right over here, I put something that I wanted to show you that I got from a thrift store last uh, weekend. Two laser discs. Now, you know, I like to collect some of these laser discs mainly because of the beautiful artwork and as something that is nostalgic to me and the reason it is nostalgic to me is because the time laser disc was a thing i could not afford it and i know that from that period but i did not remember okay so how expensive were these laser discs and these two what is interesting i found these two still had the original price tags on it because the person that used it opened it but did not remove the sleeve completely so you have this plastic look over it but it gave me a chance to see okay so how much were they in those times so this is 85 euros in of course these were 85 guilders i have to say and this was 95 guilders so i did a, a did a little bit of the calculation on uh, the internet how much in dollars is today when this was 85 95 um, guilders back in the day and you know what for now for today if you want to buy these two laser discs with the man in black, the first one, 
and uh, Jurassic Park The Lost World. These two would have co will cost you today, if it was uh, in today's money, $100. So for me, as a young boy, um, this is something I could not afford. But of course I was coming into the stores where they had the, the DVDs, because that was a new thing soon after this one uh, um, landed on the market. And of course I saw these wonderful editions standing over there with price tags that I just could not afford. So for me this is something of making up for last time. And um, it was very nice to see how expensive these things were and what that would mean for today. So 50 bucks a piece more or less. And for these two movies you will pay 100 dollars if this was today so that's the last thing that i wanted to show you again thank you from a cloudy sunny and windy rotterdam and for the second time i'll see you next week